So hello everyone, this is Eben Nolik Smith with Yoga You Online and I am very happy to be here today with Robert Schleip, PhD and uh, a long-term rolfer and also a, an expert in fascia and an international teacher in fascia anatomy. And Robert, you have quite a background. You started out as a rolfer and then you got into fascia research and you now direct the fascia research program at Ulm University and you are also spearheading this amazing phenomenon that we are at today which is the Fascial Research Congress that happens, I believe, every three years. Mm -hmm. So tell us about your background. You started out as a manual therapist, a rolfer. You became interested in movement, Feldenkrais. You're a certified Feldenkrais teacher. And then you got into fascia. And from just your this very brief bio, it's clear that mm -hmm. fascia has become your vision mm -hmm. and your mission in life. So tell us about that process. Originally I studied psychology uh -huh. and wanted to become a shrink or a psychotherapist and help people on an emotional level. But then soon I realized that uh, including the body is so much more powerful. Uh, to touch people, to, to change your perspective of the world. So that's how I then, after getting my MA degree at Heidelberg University in psychology, I went all into body therapies, as you used to call them then. And uh, I've been a rolfing practitioner for 36 years now. <laughs> and I've been teaching rolfing, but I have also looked at other systems. Yes. Uh, so I've become a Feldenkrais practitioner, that's a four-year training. Uh, have my background in yoga, but never anything to a certification, and, uh, and other body-oriented therapies. Yes. And uh, then it happened that I asked for a sabbatical as a roughing instructor, where you stop teaching in order to have time for things that have been treated as too short by me. And I wanted to devote that time to check the research basis behind the things that I've been teaching. Oh. And it's I went into libraries, I interviewed research scientists, and that was so exciting. It happened in the years that led to the first Fashion Research Congress that I have never come back from that sabbatical, I'm still there. <laughs> so the Rolf Institute lost me as a Rolfing instructor, but they tell Robert, keep on doing what you do, or we don't miss you, or whatever. <laughs> so now I'm in the research world, but I still have one leg in clinical practice. Yes, yes. And did you start the Fascia, the fascia Research Congress? Uh, is, are you one of the leading? Uh... <laughs> I'm laughing because in Germany now Fascia is a big word and all the newspapers have it. And uh, even the, the, the most lousy newspaper we have, the Bild Zeitung, uh, which is maybe like the Sun or Herald, they have been describing me as if I have invented fascia. <laughs> <laughs> and that's complete nonsense. Yeah. So uh, I've been a good spokesperson, I've been a mediator between the complementary me uh, medicine practitioners who for many decades, even thousands of years, knew a lot about the body-wide fibrous network and these Harvard Medical School, Oxford University researchers who are studying fibroblasts in a cell dish or doing surgery. So there is now a meeting and that's new, yeah. between hardcore science, where you want to quantify things, and people who are studying fascia by closing their eyes right. and feeling their body from the inside. Right. I'm at home in both worlds, yes. and that's why I'm in the forefront. Right. In, in some right. other, but, uh, but I haven't invented it. <laughs>